is my dream. Liberty sows its seed at Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains, North Carolina. It has been a year since I installed this. Now I realized I never did a review of this. This is a, uh, I got this off of Amazon. It's an MPPT <clears throat> solar charge controller. It's uh, www.oneinverter.com. And I'm really happy with it. <laughs> I mean, I'm like really happy with it. As you can see here, it's got a nice on-screen menu. It's got a fan that's going. Right now, I'm only putting into it 315 watts, give or take. Real cloudy. As a matter of fact, it was raining here about 15 minutes ago, but it stopped long enough. I figured I'd go ahead and shoot this video. And today, uh, just just turning it on. I've been running. You can't see it, but like off that way. Yeah, you can kind of see the corner of it. I'm running a grid tide system right now. So I switched between the two. It's time to charge the battery. So for the rest of the afternoon, I'll be recharging the battery. But let's take a look at this thing. Down the bottom here is where all our cabling comes in and out of. Up at the top here, you have a fan. And then the menu does pretty much everything else itself. You can see here 30 volts in, and it shows the input and output. Here's our battery state of charge, 26.44 volts. Up at the top here, that's how many watts we're pulling in off the panels. I've got a 1200 watt system here. Usually right around 980 watts is the highest you're gonna get in full sun. Here's our daily intake, and then there's our total intake. And so that shows you just kind of off the top. Hey, here's what we've got, here's what we're using. If I go into menu, it's very easy to set this up. Oh, it is also backlit. So you can see it's lit up here. We go to menu and we have some stuff. We have language settings. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go this way through it. Time and date. So if you want to be able to track, like if you're gonna track your 24 hour charge, that's you want to be able to go in there and check that. Contrast adjustment, if you have this thing in direct sunlight, mine is actually installed underneath the solar panels, so it doesn't uh, doesn't really have a hard time reading that. Brightness adjustment as well, sound setting, record query, so you can you're keeping track of your daily intake, like how many how many how many kilowatt hours you're pulling in every day. You can keep track of all that, and then you can delete that. Out. System info, we'll go ahead and enter into that. And this is where we get into some of the stuff. I'm not going to change any of this, but you can choose your battery type. I have a lithium ion. Uh, voltage is 24 volts. You can change that. Current charge voltage. I'm, I'm keeping this really low. I don't want to overstress my lithium. So 27.2 is as high as I'll put it. 50 amp current is as high as I want to push or pull out of it at any one time. 23 volts is as low as I want to have working. So uh, I'll go down. Okay. And we'll go back. DC output settings. So again, if I go into this menu, um, it's going to ask me, right? It's going to be automatic. What, what do I want to push out? It knows that it's a 24 volt battery, so I can change that or I can manually adjust that. In this case, we want 24 volts out. Communication settings. So I've never set this up, but there is a port underneath, a USB port, not a USB, a, a serial port that you could run a remote system to. My understanding is they've never offered that. And, you know, for my setup here, it wouldn't be something that I'm interested in having, but it's interesting that they do offer that, I guess. And then lastly, parameter settings. This is passworded. I'm not gonna go into it right now, but that's where you would change. If I had uh, lead acid or if I, let's say next year, I wanna double the size of this thing. So I make it, um, you know, I make it a, a 48 volt system. Those are where I'm going to change my charge, you know, my overall charge voltage, my um, how many, how big the battery is, what type of battery it is, that kind of stuff there. So a pretty darn good deal. Um, Outback Solar is, you know, what we had looked at. I think it was called Outback Solar. And it would have been about three times the cost of this for the same amount of, this is a 60 amp charge controller. And that's that would have been about 680, I think it was 650 when we were looking at it. This does the exact same thing, and it costs 169 dollars. I think right now they're up to maybe 10 dollars higher, so 179. I know a lot of folks that run multiples of these. Uh, you know, they break their system up into smaller pieces, which is kind of a cool idea, really. But yeah, overall, I'm real happy with it. You know, there's a lot of garbage on Amazon. Uh, there's a lot of just you know knockoffs that just don't work. And in my other video, I talked about, um, you know, 
know, now I have this Ames uh, inverter down here. It's 24 volt Ames inverter, but I had like a, a Suzuki or something like that that I had purchased the same time I purchased this. And the truth is that was garbage and it was an expensive mistake. You know, it was $160 worth of garbage, uh, or I think it was actually over 200. I don't want to think about that that hard. It broke. Um, the company then failed to warranty it. I had to get uh, Amazon involved. They sent me a second one and it is nearly dead. So it was, you know, we had to go and spend three times as much as those units cost to get an Ames, but I should have done it in the first place. So you take a chance when you're buying something that's no name. In this case, uh, you know, I would say after a year's worth of operation, a little over a year now, that I've been very pleased with it, and, and I think you would be too. If you have any questions about it, I can attempt to go through it. Honestly, I set it up, uh, you know, a year ago, and I haven't made any adjustments to it. It just works. It just does its thing. The fan comes on when it needs to, and of course, in a day like today, usually, yeah, I'm pretty close to the wattage that it'll, it'll it would kick on and start and start blowing that fan but it's nice that i'm able to film this video without it i guess that'll do it for today i guess in another video I'll move the camera a little bit up here in another video i'll cover the uh i'll cover that which is the grid tie system that's another amazon purchase and uh, i think it's from suntan solar but that, yeah suntan solar it's a thousand gtl2 and it works really well as well we've saved we got our first bill in and uh yeah we saved considerable amount but i'll make a separate video on that but between the two and this giant battery uh, we've got quite a setup going here i'll tell you that <laughs> that'll do it for today my friends i'm eric the owner of farpoint farms and i'll see you next time take care